Hello folks. While I have used, run, and flown all kinds of nitro-powered engines since I was 8 years old, starting with those Cox engines and those baby bees. In the early days, we used to use missile mist for fuel, and the very first night flyer that I ever flew was powered with a Cox Golden Bee and flown late in the night by many during my second trip to the Maldiwing Nationals. It was quite fun for all, and everybody lined up to try it. Well, since those days, I flew with a friend of mine named Dave Duncan. He used to work at Cox in Santa Ana. We flew night contests with those Cox engines, including pylon racing and limbo. There were no electrics back then, and these Cox engines were quite reliable for the all-night flying we did. Dave then gave me buckets of them and took them all apart, and I began selling piston-powered keychains at the quarter-scale meet back in the early 80s when I flew my big pits. I even had several of them gold-plated, even an O1 L piston, but it was burned up in the fire. Well, then another one of my friends out in California, Julius Snell, I call him Dr. J, he sent me an EH-1 electric heli, which you've seen me restore, and also sent me a couple of these Cox engines. Well, I'm going to run one in a few minutes to show you how my starter works. The main reason I needed a starter is because one of my subscribers sent me a Light Machines 110 helicopter. I did have some experience with one years ago because my friend had one and I decided to go ahead and restore this one as it definitely needed some help. The person who sent it to me didn't give his name or email but I thank him kindly. It's completely restored now except for the Arlton Gyro which I can't find but I will be making a flight as soon as the weather gets better. Well this helicopter has an 061 engine in it, a little bit bigger than the 049 and since I also couldn't find a Sullivan Hornet starter it was just as easy to make my own. My big electric starters are too much for my little Cox engines as I've bent connecting rods in the past trying to use them so hence why I decided to do this. Here's how I did it. Well first of all I used a 12 volt electric motor I got on eBay from Mops Electric. It's a 550 class motor with a high torque and 13,500 RPM with 61 watts power at 7 amp. Pretty powerful. Well, next I purchased a doorbell button from Ace Hardware and mounted wires to it. Well, since the motor needs to run backwards from what is marked plus and negative on the motor itself, I connected the negative wire through the switch to the terminal marked red or plus. The plus wire then connects directly to the negative terminal and the banana plugs on the end connect easily to my power box. I then use zip ties to connect the switch to the motor extending it out the back to protect the motor terminals. Then I used rubber magic tape to wrap around the zip ties. Well next I used an old wheel from my old erector set but using a small amount of vinyl tape to take up the very small difference in shaft size to the hole in the wheel and then tighten the screw. Next I used one of my old rubber engine starter inserts. I turned it around backwards so the smaller hole will fit on the engine side to start it. And the next thing I did was I used Amazing Goop, which, well, is simply amazing, as I've said over the years, because it dries flexible like rubber, and it just simply will not come apart on just about anything unless you cut it off. I also put some vinyl tape around the wheel to make sure it'll be a nice snug fit, and everything stays nice and round. I then used the Goop to overlap the wheel, and it's going to stay on tight. Let it dry 24 hours to make sure. The starter is real comfortable in my hand and actually only cost me about 18 bucks altogether. So now when the weather clears I'll be able to start my light machine telling and see how it goes. But in the meantime, let's see how it starts this old baby bee. I just took it apart and cleaned it so it should start right up and be ready to go right here in my garage. So here we go. Alright, we're going to put a little fuel in here. And we're going to prime it a little. Okay, all fueled up. I'm going to hook up this first wire, negative wire, to my needle valve because that's a good ground. And I'm going to turn on my little driver. And make sure that's on the back side. It all looks good. All right, got my starter in hand. Let's we have continuity. Let's see what happens. Here we go.
That worked great. There you go. Well, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Be safe, happy flying, and we'll see you next time.